Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I have another Battlefield 3 video for you guys. And today I wanted to talk about the recent patch that is going to happen this week for PC. It's going to take a little longer for console because that's due to certification requirements, uh, but that should be up and running in the next couple of weeks. So uh, the first thing that the patch is going to entail is some improved polish. And if you play the game, you'll know that there the game feels a little rough around the edges. There are some glitches, and hopefully... Uh, what they mean by improved polish is just that they're they're trying to hammer out some of these glitches and just make it a little bit less frustrating when you do come you know when this does happen. So I'm 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 excited to see what they are doing in that regard. Uh, there's also going to be some server server stability uh, improvements. I know that every single time I try to do an, join a server, E8 instantly disconnects me or not instantly. I have to go through the process, but it, I get disconnected, and then once I try to join again on that server. I get connected and I don't have any issues, but it's a little annoying when that happens every single time I join. I, and also, they will hopefully just uh, reduce the amount of times that you crash um, from a server. I know this is very frustrating when you have a great game going and all of a sudden you just crash randomly and you have no, uh, you know, no indication of why. Uh, so hopefully they will improve upon that with this patch. There's also going to be some weapon balancing that I'm really interested to see how they go about that. Are they going to increase some damage or effectiveness of some weapons? I think that's probably gonna how they're gonna go. I know some weapons are are uh, more powerful than others, but they're not like overpowered in the sense. Uh, I just feel like other weapons just aren't as good. Uh, so I'll be interested to see if they're going to you know, reduce the effectiveness of some, or they're just going to increase the overall effectiveness of the weaker weapons. Um, there is also going to be some squad control functionality that I'm really interested to see how they go about. Uh, I personally enjoy playing with my friends, but there is some times where it, the squad management is so encumbersome, it, the the uh, user interface is just so strange, it's, it's not very self-explanatory. I'm interested to see if they clean it up, make it much more user-friendly, and also for 64 uh, slot servers uh, for Conquest, just to make more squads, uh, squads available so that if I am with three friends, uh, I'm not left with, uh, you know, two of my, or four friends, I'm not left with two friends in other squads just because they're, all the squads are full. So I think that'd be a good implementation. And apparently there's also going to be some user interface enhancements and some other features that uh, have been addressed um, by the community feedback. So it's really good to see that they are trying to use community feedback to improve the game as well. And that's what some, that's what uh, DICE is really known for and good at, is that they really do listen to the community and try to approve upon their feedback. So uh, the other thing that we get some information about is the Back to Karkin expansion pack, which is gonna come out in December. And what I really like about what we've seen so far is there's going to be 10 new assignments uh, that will extend some persistence for the game. So uh, in the article that I will leave a link down below in the description for, uh, they mentioned that there is going to be 10 new weapons and they are going to be uh, for Back to Karkin, but you can also play with them in the, uh, the core game. Uh, so it's it's not going to be, you know, like in uh, Battlefield Vietnam, where if you played the expansion pack for Vietnam, you could only use those weapons and they were, you know, they were weapon specific or uh, expansion specific. Uh, but this is going to be for both the expansion and the core game. And they're actually introducing something called assign assignments, which is kind of like an achievement system. And these assignments will allow you to unlock the new weapons in the expansion. So uh, one example they give in the article is to get 20 kills with the light machine gun and two mortar kills. I'm assuming this is over multiple games, so you don't have to get it all in one game. I could be wrong. Um, but that is just to unlock one of the weapons. And there's also a second tier to unlock the, uh, the later gun. And this is going to be for all five classes or, you know, four classes with also the the P, uh, the personal defense weapons or the the all-use weapons. Um, so I'm interested to see how hard the later stages are going to be. 20 kills doesn't seem like a lot because it's really not. Um, but like, like I said, I'm interested to see how hard the later tiers are going to be. And I think they're also setting it up for maybe later expansions. So this tier system could expand into something larger or much larger considering that I know they have a lot of plans for uh, future expansions and a lot of it. So, uh, but yeah, guys, this about wraps up the video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a rating. And also, if you'd like to see more of my videos, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Twitter. But until next time, everyone, have a good one and take it easy.